We at Danfoss have to be here at Agritechnica, simply because by 2050, the world is going to need 50% more food production. The agriculture industry today represents 24% of the carbon emissions worldwide. So we have to work with our customers, understand their challenges, to develop solutions focused on sustainability, efficiency, and productivity. The demands of farming today are already pretty high in terms of uh, farmers' needs for reliability, high performance, and minimizing operational costs. So going into the future, we're going to see an even bigger focus on aspects like reducing carbon footprint, on working with fewer resources, and having even higher levels of productivity. And electrification can help us meet those demands with powertrains by having even higher powertrain efficiencies and using cleaner sources of energy. Here at Danfoss, we're working on the next generation of products to meet those demands and to develop solutions for full electrification and hybridization. What we've seen now is that there's no one single solution that really fits a machine. It really depends on what are the duty cycles, what is the relevant technology, should I go electrification, should I go hybrid, should I go conventional hydraulic. On top of that, we also see the development in autonomy, in software control systems, and that really pushes the limit for what are the capabilities out there. From our side, what we do is we really go in and work with our customers. We understand the applications, we understand the duty cycles, and because we also in-depth understand the technologies, we know really what are the solutions our OEMs are looking for, and how can we help them find that right solution that will give them a leading edge within the industry. I think the, the next step in autonomous solutions is to move from technology to commercial solutions. And one of the activities we have running is to package our competency in autonomy into a series of plus one building blocks that are easy to deploy and to deploy those in real customer engagements. So we're at that point now where we have to get out of the lab and into the solutions. And we're, we're ready to do that basically in 2019.